Hello everyone, welcome back to ELC studies and today we will discuss about the next part of romantic period that is about romantic poetry, uh, we will discuss about some poets, the, uh, the significance of uh, uh, romantic poetry. Today I am discussing about some significant ideas of romantic poetry. They are totally six in number. Uh, the number one is feelings of empathy and respect for people of the lower economic class. Uh, people are generally good even, uh, though society can be cruel and degrading. A love of nature drawing inspiration from the countryside and other rural air landscapes. Emphasis is on the showing feelings, not hiding emotions. Deep interest in the irrational, the supernatural and horror. Imagination is a rare gift that seizes the moment. Who are English Romantic Poets? Robert Southey, William Wordsworth, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, they, they are called Lake Poets. Sir Walter Scott, Thomas Campbell, they belong to the Scott group. Then younger group includes John Keats, B.B. Shelley and Lord Byron. Let's discuss some notable English romantic poets in detail. First of all, we will talk about William Wordsworth. Many believe William Wordsworth to be one of the England's greatest poets. With an early interest in politics, he went to France during the revolution and came close to being executed in Jacobian terror. Until the rise of Napoleon, Wordsworth was a firm believer in the benefits of the revolution. He returned to England and moved to the Lake District where he met and became friends with Coleridge. By defining poetry, he says, the spontaneous overflow of powerful feeling. Now, Samuel Taylor Coleridge. He was the most productive and influential of the Romantic poets. He wrote his best work during the time of his friendship with Wordsworth. His poem Kubla Khan, composed in 1797, was inspired by an opium-induced dream, which stimulated Coleridge's imagination. Unfortunately, opium became Coleridge's fixation for a period and almost destroyed his friendship with Wordsworth, as it did his marriage and health. Robert Southey. Unlike Wordsworth and Coleridge, he lacked higher qualities of poetry and his achievement as a poet is not much. He was a voracious reader and voluminous writer. He, his most ambitious poems, Salaba, The Curse of Kehama, Madoc, Doderic, are based on mythology of different nations. He also wrote a number of ballads and short poems, of which the best known is about his love for books, My Days Among the Dead Are Past. But he wrote far better prose than poetry, and his admirable life of Nelson remains a classic. He was made the poet laureate in 1813, and after his death in 1843, Wordsworth held this title. Sir Walter Scott He was the first to make romantic poetry popular among the masses. In his poetry, we do not find the deeply imaginative and suggestive quality which is at the root of poetic excellence. It is the story element, the narrative power which absorbs its vigor, youthful abundance, vivid pictures, heroic characters, rapid action and succession of the adventures. His best known poems are The Lady of the Last Minstrel, Marry on the Lady of the Lake, Rock by the Lord, or the Lord of the Isles, all of them recapture the atmosphere of the Middle Ages and breath and air of supernaturalism and superstitions. After 1815, Scott wrote little poetry and turned to prose romance in the form of historical novel in which field he engaged, he earned great and enduring fame. John Keats Both Keats and Shelley died tragically at an early age. 
Kate's resigned his position as a surgeon after finding it's uh, impossible to perform operation on people who were cognizant of their pain. At the age of 23, he contracted pulmonary tuberculosis. He moved to Italy, hoping the warmer weather might improve his health. In Italy, he was inspired to write his greatest work. He succumbed to tuberculosis at the age of 25. Lord Byron Considered one of the Eng England's greatest poets, Jordan was born into the English aristocracy. Prior to his self-exile in 1816, he lived a flamboyant life in London filled with numerous love affairs, indulgent parties, and scandalous rumors about his love interests. Byron left England for Italy to escape the castigation of English society. It was here he met Shelley through, uh, through Mary and her sister Claire. Claire was Jordan's latest love affair, like words where Jordan became embroiled in revolutionary politics, joining the Greek War of Independence. P.B. Shelley Shelley's life was taken tragically in a storm while sailing his schooner in Italy. Shelley lived an emotionally charged life, expelled from Oxford for writing and distributing an essay supporting atheism. Shelley chose to live on the whim of his emotions. He eloped the Scotland with his first wife, Harriet, at the age of 19. Harriet was just 16. He saw his role of the, in their elopement perhaps as that of the knight in shining armor, rescuing the young student from a life she abhorred. Thank you so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, please subscribe so that we come up with an upgraded and emerging versions of videos. Thank you.